And uh, it's really important on songs like Humble Stance, where you really get to hear a bit of that, you hear that groove. And there's something really um, esoteric to me about the sound of song. You can't really put your finger on it because there's all these different elements that are intertwining that maybe shouldn't work when you put them together. But for some reason, it just does. It's really, it's, it's, it's a great magic, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I mean, basically, I always looked at it like you got a progressive rock band with a disco drummer. <laughs> Not that it was really disco, although some of the grooves I used, I have heard on actual disco hits. Uh, I heard one the other day, which was actually a Simmons kit, and it was the same groove as Wind Him Up. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, that... that, that made us different from all the other progressive bands because the, the progressive rock drummers to me they all feel kind of stiff you know that, that it's that that stiff approach there's nothing funky about it at all you know it's it's very sort of cut and dried if you like and that's i come from a completely different area you know i mean i was look, listening to guys like bernard purdy you know, and and uh, just that 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 R and B heavy groove 